Welcome in everybody to another episode of the Strength of Purpose podcast. I'm your co-host, Dr. Phil Finnamore, owner of WorkFitMe, mobile concierge physical therapy, joined by my co-host, Josh Jewett of Strength of Purpose in Buxton, Maine. Uh, Josh, thanks for joining me for, for another episode. Really excited about this one. How are you doing today? I'm doing awesome, Phil. Thanks once again. Uh, we're, we're loving these very much. We love doing these for people. Um, how are you doing today? Great. Yeah, no, this is, this has been a, this has been a lot of fun. We're, we're definitely kind of getting our feet wet here and trial by fire yeah. a little bit, but, uh, yeah. uh, we, we appreciate everybody listening. We appreciate everybody tuning in all the support on, on social media and, and all that good stuff. Uh, we have a, we're going to be talking about goal setting today and, and we have a very specific goal on, on this podcast of helping busy main professionals to, to find that emotional mental and physical strength that they absolutely need to fulfill their true purpose in, in life. And the series we've been going, going on here, this is going to be the third installment of this series is really how to get people kicked off on their journey successfully, right? So if they're yes. starting a new journey, any new journey, but specifically a, a pain prevention, health, wellness journey, how to do that the right way so that it, it it's, less likely to fail so that you're, you're less likely to get discouraged along the way. And week one, we talked about the importance of having a strong why, which if you don't have that, the rest of the steps are just not going to matter. Uh, right. Last week, we talked about being a little bit, of, a little bit selfish to your why and investing in yourself and, and, the, and the fact that that's going to give you a guaranteed return on investment. So the next logical step here is, is goal setting. And this does a, a, a multitude of things. Not only does it give you a, a place to go, but if we do it right, it can actually give you a plan of, of, of how to get to that ultimate goal, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, again, you, you figure out what your overall goal is, and then you can add like little goals that might help you as stepping stones along the way. Definitely. So like a major goal and then very, a lot of minor goals. You know, and we can kick it off as far as like maybe talk just really quick, like weight loss. You, yeah. you want to you lose 100 pounds, but you're not going to lose it in a month. So right. maybe make small goals for next year of 10 pounds a month or whatever it is. Yeah. So that's how you do it. And then when you hit that little goal, it, it like frog jumps you to the next one and the next one. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, that, so that's how goal setting can, can get you there. But, but I wanted to back up even one step further and say, sure. what is a good goal, right? Because if the goal isn't structured right in the first place, even that big overarching goal that we're then going to work backwards from sure. and, and build that plan, if that overarching goal is not well put together or, or set up correctly, yes. then the, the plan's never going to happen, right? So a, a good goal uh, first and foremost has to have a subject, right? Which is usually yes. in this case, an individual, let's go with that weight loss example. So it's going to be, yeah. you know, the person like I, right. Um, it, it has to have a, something that we're, that we're measuring, right. Something sort of yes. objective that, that we're, that we're measuring. So this is the, uh, that's the weight loss, right. I want to lose 100 pounds. It then has to be set in a time frame, Okay. Yes. And then the last thing is it's got to be realistic, right? Because it's unrealistic yes. to say that I'm going to lose a hundred pounds in a month, <laughs> right? It's, yeah. oh, you're not going to, you're not going to do it safely anyways. City. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, yeah. um, I, I know I'm sure there's someone out there saying that's, that's doable. Um, but, but, <laughs> right. yeah. but it's not safe. So, so please right. don't do that. But yeah, so those are the four main things. You, we got to know who's doing the goal. We got to know what they're trying to achieve. Uh, we've got to know when it, it's being achieved by, and we have to be able to put a solid time frame on that on that goal that's realistic, right? Because because this yep. it's great to have big goals and and big dreams that that yep. scare you and seem unrealistic to you, but the again, we can't say I want to lose a hundred pounds in a month or two because it's just, it's just not going to, it's not going to happen. Right. Yeah. So, so do something, set a goal that kind of scares you a little bit. Like I want to lose a hundred pounds in a year. Like, Ooh, that seems like a lot. Um, it's okay to, it's okay to do that. But, but again, it, it, it's gotta be 
it's got to be big because it's got to push you, but it also has to be realistic and something that you can actually achieve because our mind knows the difference, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. And I mean, think about it as far as like um, a home, right? Building a home. You yeah. have to prepare the ground. That's number one. You have to prepare the ground, put the foundation in, Right. And then you build on top of that until you have the finished product inside, but you're not going to put all your appliances on, on the ground right? and then build around it. <laughs> right. Right. That's sure. That's a massive failure. So I mean, you can think about it in those easy terms like that, like the steps you're going to take to yeah. make sure that you have to prepare yourself for getting there, not for failure. So if you, you know, start right out with some huge grandiose plan of losing a hundred pounds in a month, not only is it unhealthy, but it's, you're probably going to fail. Unrealistic. Right. Right. And, and goals, <laughs> goals should set you up for success, not, exactly. uh, not set you up for, for failure. So yep. w- once we have a good goal built, right, that's when we can start again, working backwards. And I, and I think that's important too, is, is I think the best way to start on any sort of journey, but especially a, uh, a, whether it's a weight loss journey or a health and fitness journey or pain French, whatever, whatever your journey might be, uh, a, a wellness journey, working backwards from a big goal is probably the best way to do it, right? Because as we've talked about the past, uh, the past two weeks, having a strong why, being selfish to that why and investing in it is going to lead you to a big goal, right? Just kind of naturally. It's sort of a natural progression that your overall goal is going to be to lose 100 pounds so that you can play with your play with your kids outside again uh without discomfort uh or whatever the case might be in the next year right so so your why and 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 the 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 starting point of your journey is going to give you that big overarching goal but like what josh already already hit on here which i love we have to then make smaller goals so that you can see how far you've come Mm -hmm. in your journey especially when things get turbulent. Uh, and uh-huh. there's another, and there's another time we've already mentioned that, that, that as well. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, think about, think about the journal again. Yeah. Okay. We talked about it already. Um, that's a great way to look back and see your victories. Um, just because you lose a battle does not mean the war is over. Um, so, right. and you continue on and, and you, you, as we say, we pivot, right? Yeah. We, we, you and I know all about pivoting. Yeah. <laughs> all too well. So, yeah. You pivot and you try to maybe just try to say, Hey, how am I going to get around this? Let's just say, for example, you're, you're on your journey of losing hundred pounds and you get a little tenderness in your knee and you can't do your squats or whatever. What are you going to do? You're going to stop. No, you have to pivot and kind of move around, but you're still right. working towards the same goal of a hundred pounds. You just have to pivot a little bit. That's it. Right. And, and then, and having smaller goals, in there uh, again along with having a strong why yeah which is going to push you to to push through these little little setbacks or pivots that you're very likely to encounter because progress is never linear especially when we're talking about our bodies uh, and our and our mental and emotional strength but you these smaller goals give you little wins along the way right i loved i loved how you said that near near the start here is the smaller goals give you little wins along the way so let's actually let's actually use this goal, right? So, so let's say, you know, I'm going to lose a hundred pounds so that I can run around the yard with my kids without any issues in mm-hmm. a year. Okay. So in order to work backwards from that and help structure our plan moving forward and give you benchmarks to hit, we then have to say, okay, losing a hundred pounds in 12 months means we have to lose somewhere between 10 and 15 pounds a month right? Sure. You know, quick math that, that checks out, right? Carry the one. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, right. but, but so 10 to 50 pounds a month. So that's our, our next goal, right? Goal number yep. one, uh, yep. let's say, you, you know, is, is let's say you're starting today, right? You're, you're starting, you're starting on February 17th. So our goal is that by March 17th, I will lose 10 to 15 pounds. Yep. And it's, I think it's okay to have a range there. Don't you like if that's, yeah, the, if that's the example, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, there could be something, um, there could be something in the way you, you have family coming into town. You have to give yourself a freaking break, Phil. Right. You give yourself a break. Don't, <laughs> don't be so hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Right. Don't beat yourself up. Yeah. Just, you know, yesterday was yesterday. Today is a new day. So right. yeah, exactly. I think you're totally right. Yeah. Totally. 
so you can you can have those little goals there along the way and then and then every every four weeks after that it's the same thing right yeah. so you have you're, yeah. you're going to wind up with really 13 goals right if, if we're looking of, in accomplishing something over a year you're going to have your overarching goal to do it in 12 months and then yeah. you're going to have a goal for each one of those one of those those months and again the importance in doing that is to is to realize that okay i'm four months into this thing i've hit these three goals and and maybe i fell just maybe i lost eight pounds this next right. month right so i fell short that that month but guess what i've still lost 38 pounds yeah, yeah right, I mean, right? Yeah. i've still lost 38 pounds and i'm already noticing that i can run around the yard with the kiddos way easier than i ever yeah. did before right so Absolutely. so it gives you those benchmarks it gives you a plan right it 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 helps you navigate that really big goal yeah and it gives you a win because sometimes, Definitely. darn it, we just need to feel good about ourselves. We do. And it's way harder to beat ourselves up, isn't it? Oh, it's, yeah, definitely. You, you, you got to give yourself that. And remember, like, even if you just lost eight pounds, that's still a mental and emotional win, too. As much of a physical, too. You're still winning. Yeah. You're still winning. So don't, don't freak out. It's, it's a long process. And, and the, you know, just touching on this real quick, these ridiculous, like, fad diets and stuff, destroy yeah. this for people yes because, oh i can take a pill or oh, i can drink a tea and yeah. you know a month from now i'll lose 30 pounds and it's ridiculous because most of the right. water away. anyway that's right. a tangent. <laughs> it's a tangent but it's still it's relevant because sure i think we need to change people's minds feel about how to set goals and be realistic about it i mean you yeah. we've touched on that already but to be realistic and just admit to yourself i have a ways to go my why is so strong that I'm going to continue to push towards that. Exactly. And, and, oh, I've come this far. Like, why, yeah. why should I give up now? I've, I've come this far. Yeah. Um, but I just need to keep working harder for, for where I want to be. And, and I think this kind of segues us really well into another, uh, another point. And, and this is something that we will, we will hit on on next week's episode. Yes. And that is, having a support system around you don't go yes. it alone give yourself have some guidance and support when you're setting up these goals okay yes. um because nine times out of ten right again let's let's go back to this example of losing 100 pounds you've never done this before yes right so mm -hmm. so to set those goals up uh, well you go listen to this podcast and we just set those goals up for you <laughs> but right but, yeah definitely but uh, and, and if we, and if we have, please give us a five-star review and, 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 and a review and, and tell us how great those goals work for you. No, yes, um, <laughs> no, but, but, uh, um, all, all, all joking aside, you're, these, these small goals help you devise, uh, some checkpoints, right. And, and, a, and a way to kind of kick off a plan, but you're not going to nine times out of 10, you're not going to know how to execute that plan. Right. right. Without yeah. the proper guidance and support. So we're definitely going to dive in a little harder on that next week. But I, but I think it's important to note that setting up those smaller goals help get you to the sort of the basic outline of a plan, but yes. there's, there still needs to be an actual solid plan put into place that you're definitely going to need some, some help with, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Phil, you're not going to eat a cow whole, right? You got to cut that thing up. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So, right? we'll, so we'll, think of that. I love analogies. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, that's great. That's, that, that's, that's fantastic. How do you eat, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at right. a time, right? One bite yeah. at a time. Yes, yeah. That's, no, that's, that's great. Um, so we'll definitely thing. dive in a, a little bit more on that uh, next week. But um, again, applying this sort of goal setting thing to uh, a, a, a real life example here you know a lot of the folks that that i see some of them definitely have things that they want to want to prevent but a lot of people uh come to me with something already already going on and and part of what i'm able to do with them is is kind of dig a little deeper find that why right and yeah. then we can build our goals and our program uh, around that so again that just sort of brings it all together and i know and i know josh you do the you do the same thing with your folks you already you know, um, 
in just just recently in that in our last episode mentioned your your your, your working mom with the remote learner at home sure. and, and and the stress yeah. you can relieve and and, and ha- her investing in herself is you know even just twice a week is going to help her the rest of her week but yeah absolutely. Um, again just sort of bringing this all together it, we can't have if we don't have any one of these things that we're talking about in this series it the the end result is not going to be as good as it as it could be right and and goal setting is a very important part of those of those first steps yep yeah absolutely it's like a recipe phil you know if you miss the butter they're going to be hard and dry right that's right so, you know what i mean so you have to think about it in those terms and just break it down and make sure that you're hitting everything take your time relax you 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 whatever this journey is you're taking it's it, it's going to be um a journey right so exactly take your time take your time relax take a deep breath understand the prospect follow the process and yeah. you'll be fine you got it we're not calling it a uh we're not calling it a, a journey for nothing right? There's, right there's a reason we're using that term and josh have you ever uh side note have you have you ever thought of just writing a book of analogies like, <laughs> like not explaining them don't explain them I, I think it would be better if you didn't explain them and just like wrote down all the analogies and like just group them into into common common themes because you, you have I don't think we've talked about one thing yet that you haven't had a perfect analogy for. I love it. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's something you should think about doing. Cause I, I think, I'm I think glad people... you, I'm glad you love it because my wife is gets annoyed really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, shout out to Missy. Um, okay. To Missy, yeah. So I, yeah, I think that's, I, I think that's a good, uh, a, a good place to be. So just sort of a, a wrap up of this, right. We need to have yeah. goals that, that are realistic, measurable, have a time frame. And and kind of incorporate you and your you and your why. We really need to have that big overarching goal with all those smaller goals underneath it that help us build a foundation, a framework of our plan yes. to get to that overarching goal. And by making sure our goal setting is on point, it's going to make sure that when we hit some turbulence in our in our journey, that coupling that solid goal setting with our why gives us a way to say, Hey, I'm not quite where I want to be yet. Or I might've even missed one of these smaller goals, but I've come so far and yep. I'm going to keep, keep forging ahead. Absolutely. Phil. I love it. That's, that's great knowledge. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Well, if, if any of you want to share some of your goals with us Please. or, or uh, you want some advice on, what should your why be, you know, what, what's the importance of investing in your, in yourself and why you should be selfish or, or you just want to share some of these things we've talked about here over the past, past three episodes, please shoot us an email at strength of purpose pod at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram at strength of purpose pod. Uh, you can also reach out to Josh and myself. You can find all of our social media contact information in the in the show notes and we'd love to love to hear from you part of what we're going to do with with some of these correspondence because we've talked about this the past few episodes is try to bring all that together in sort of a wrap-up episode in a, in a couple in a couple weeks here um but yeah. would, would love to would love to hear from some of you and give you some sort of advice or, or just hear how th- these things have worked for for all of you Absolutely. I think that's a great idea. Please do it. Um, it not only will help help us in the episode, but it'll, it might help somebody else. Like that question might be on somebody else's mind too. And they just don't yeah. want to ask. Exactly. So, for exactly. sure. We look awesome. forward to that. Please. Definitely. Definitely. The more people we can help to, together as a, yes. as a strength of purpose podcast community, the, the better. So uh, with that said, thank you all for listening to this episode of the strength of purpose podcast. We really appreciate you all. Would, would love it that if you got something out of this episode that you share it with, with family, friends, coworkers, loved ones, whoever. And if you did get something out of it, we'd also really appreciate that five-star rate and review wherever it is that you listen to your podcast. Join us next week as we dive a little deeper into the importance of not going it alone and getting the proper guidance and support you need on your journey, whatever new journey you were, you were kicking off. So yes. thank you for listening. Uh, we look forward to, to talking with you next, next week.
Thanks, everyone. Have a good one.